Good morning, guys. Here we are. Um, second day on the pairs. Uh, just getting ready for the draw. Um, all the lads are just tuning up. Um, okay, Dave. <clears throat> yeah, so basically it's going to be all about uh, the draw today. I need to draw a no low number. Uh, hopefully, my mate Clive, you only had two ounces yesterday. Um, but three ounces. Oh, three ounces. Yeah, three ounces. <laughs> just told me three ounces. But uh, you know, today's hopefully on a, okay, get a good pack. Uh, I got to apologise for yesterday for the camera. Um, I didn't quite get it right yesterday, so uh, so uh, I'll do it. You know, make I'll double check it today. Make sure you know uh, I'm filming properly. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, just just about to draw. Are you got no? No, you're fine. Just just help out at the end, mate. Yeah. Oh fuck. Eight, ten. Oh, fuck. Scales assist, Russ, okay? Eight, twenty eight. Okay. Oh, okay, guys. <laughs> right, I've drawn then, so they are uh, peg twenty eight. Uh, what can I say? Um, it's not what I wanted to be, but then saying that, um, Steve Metcalf, one of the the lads, um, he had it, and he said uh, he won the section with uh, eighteen pound of roach. So hopefully there might be some roach there. We'll see. Anyway, okay, uh, get onto the pack now, and let's see how we get on. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I just arrived at my peg. I've done two journeys because uh, the amount of gear we got to carry. Um, well, I'm looking at the peg and I, I I can't see it being any different to any of the other pegs. Uh, to be quite honest, in fact, it's uh, quite fast. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. It's, it's a bit of a slack on the inside, but that's probably very shallow. Um, and out there it's pushing through a bit. At least the, the colour's dropped out. So I might have a go on the bread. Um, I might put a feeder across there as well. But uh, apparently, the angle yesterday, Steve Metcalf has had 18 pound of roach on the inside. Of course, it's a different day today. I mean, um, some good anglers up along here. Um, oh well, it is what it is. You've got to just do your best. All I can say is that um, uh, my mate Clive's drawn the end peg, 102, and that can be an absolute flyer sometimes. Um, 38 pound of trouble come off yesterday. I'm sure Clive can do better than that. So I just got to try and um, hopefully catch some fish. And if he can catch some fish, then uh, you know. So it's a bit of a tall order, though, we're looking at the results. I, I, we're actually only £12 behind sixth place, you know, which is the main money, but there's also a lot of anglers also in our position who are also drawing some good pegs. So it's in the lap of the gods. Um, all I can do is try my best, try and win the section. You know, won't be for the one to try in anyway. OK, I'm going to tackle up now. Um, hopefully I'll have enough time to tell you what I'm going to do. Um, hopefully angle the camera in a better position as well than yesterday. As I said, I'm sorry about that yesterday, Lance, but um, sometimes when you, you know, you're concentrating on the fish and you forget the, um, you know, <coughs> uh, the vlog, you know. And I enjoy doing them anyway. I hope you enjoy watching them. You know, it's, uh, some, you know, sort of uh, warts and all, you know, the ups and downs. <coughs> I've had a pretty good run lately, I suppose, on the way. Yeah. Somebody else making the second journey by the bit. <laughs> right. Okay, let's carry on then. See you in a bit.
okay I'm just halfway through the match and I'm blanking <laughs> so uh, most of uh, the field up here um, there's about three or four people have caught but there's a uh, all the others are blanking <laughs> like me um, I just had a little uh, maggot on the end then I just tried to maggot right across but I've tried everything today I've tried on the inside line um, where they caught roach yesterday, of course, different river today, uh, the, the colour's gone out of it. Um, had a little go for bleak, nothing there. Uh, stick float, a little even down the side. Uh, bread down the middle. Um, feeder in the middle and now feeder across. So I tried basically everything at the moment. Um, so I'm just hoping now that Clive, my partner's caught, <laughs> to make up for me. Um, like I did for him yesterday, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the way I see it, um, you you needed two good draws. They're catching in the fifties, which is in my section, um, and the railings, which is in my um, zone as well. Up here, you know, um, obviously, it's two two um, you know two different days to two different sections, and uh, there's a big difference in the sections. So there. Yeah. Anyway, I'll keep on plodding. You never know how I catch a fish <laughs> at the end. But uh, don't give me much hope. So this this vlog will be fishless, I think. <laughs> anyway, let's think positive now. I'm going to see if I can catch a fish before we go. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Yeah, well, I'll be, I'll be staring at this. Quite a bit now, so... Okay, the end of the match, uh, I've had three, four ounces of bleak, um, just to save the blank in the last uh, uh, sort of 20 minutes. Um, he blanked above me, he, he, got, he packed up and went home, and there's quite a few blanks, and there's very low weights, uh, eight pounds the best up there, um, then three pounds won the other section, and then I think only maybe a pound or two won this section. So, there we are. Anyway, let's get back to the uh, presentation and let's pick up um, the, <coughs> the uh, section win from yesterday. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later. Um, and obviously, thank you to you guys for supporting this. Uh, I think this is this is a brilliant little event. It's something totally different, um, different format, and uh, I think it's it's a winner. Like you know, it's, and as today has proven, you don't know. You know, everyone's in it till the last minute, so um, really good. Um, also, I, I, I feel like I have to I have to mention this. Um, as most of you will know, uh, the passing of Richard Duke this morning, or was found dead this morning. Um, whether you knew him or not, I didn't know him personally that well, but he's a member of our Midland River Angling community, uh, who's, who's sadly passed away. And I think that's a timely reminder of just how lucky we all are to be here doing it. Okay, um, so we'll do the uh, daily results sections first. So zone A, uh, pegs two to twelve with a weight of thirteen pound two was Ian Ward. Fourteen to twenty-four with a weight of twenty pounds one eight was A Griffin. Twenty-six to thirty-six for the weight of eight pound nine ounces was Steve Metcalf. Thirty-eight to forty-five for the weight of thirty-one pounds dead was Scott Jeans. Forty-six to fifty-one with a weight of twenty-seven pound dead was Chris Stevens. Seventy-three to seventy-eight with a weight of twenty-five pound nine was Paul Bick. And your zone runner-up 
with 32 pounds 50 ounces with Pat Adams. <laughs> and uh, zone A winner with 33 pounds 6 ounces with Jason B. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, zone B. Pegs 54 to 59 with a weight of 49 pounds 12 ounces was Clive Branson. Oh. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Sixty to sixty-five with a weight of forty pound two ounces was Darren Frost. Hey! Hey! Seventy-nine to eighty-four with a weight of forty-five pound two was Ed Warren. Good. Uh, eighty-five to ninety with a weight of sixty-two pound twelve ounces was Rory Jones. Ninety-one to ninety-six with a weight of fifty-seven pound nine ounces was Matt Derry. Ninety-seven to one hundred two with a weight of thirty-nine pound dead was Jim Wilson. Zone runner-up with a weight of sixty-eight pound twelve ounces was Hadrian Whittle. Winner of the zone and winner of the match on day one with a weight of 71 pound four ounces was Freddie Hardcastle. Day two, zone A. Uh, two to twelve with a weight of eight pound dead was Dave Webb. Fourteen to twenty-four with a weight of three pound twelve ounces was Hadrian Whittle. Twenty-six to thirty-six with a weight of seventeen pound four was Nigel Evans. Thirty-eight to forty-five with fifteen pound twelve ounces was Darren Frost. Sixteen pounds seven with twenty pounds ten ounces with Rory Jones. Your winner of zone with 27 pound eight ounces was Derek. Zone B. Uh, 54 to 59 with a weight of 35 pound eight ounces was Dan Atkinson. <laughs> 60 to 65 with a weight of 44 pound 6 ounces was Scott Jean. 79 to 84 with a weight of 42 pound 4 was Dave Feeney. 85 to 90 with a weight of 37 pound 10 ounces was Ian Hingley. Well done, yeah. One to ninety-six with a weight of fifty-three pound fourteen ounces was a Griffin. Well, Ninety-seven to one hundred two with a weight of nine pound two ounces was Clive Fletcher. Uh, zone runner-up with fifty-five pound fifteen ounces. Finally, someone going to Wales. Martin Challenger. Yeah. Winner of zone B and winner of the match with an absolutely incredible weight of £140.8 ounces, Chris Stevens. Oh.
So your pairs, uh, we're playing top six. Um, so uh, in sixth place, with a combined weight of 118 pounds 12 ounces, was Lee Harrison down at top. <laughs> <laughs> in fifth place, with a combined weight of 120 pounds and six ounces, was Rory Jones and Dave Roberts. <laughs> in fourth place, or fourth place, with a weight of 120 pounds eight ounces, uh, was Scott Jeans and Ed Warren. <laughs> Um, third, third with 127 pounds 14 ounces was Freddie Hardcastle and Denzel Ford. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> runners up with 139 pounds 1 ounces. Uh, in no particular order, Joanna Appleton and Matt Derrick. <laughs> and your champions for this year with a weight of 186 pounds 2 ounces, Paul Kay and Chris Stevens. Well